Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Christian Hannah Hoare here today, guys. Today, guys, I want to talk to you about 1988's Maniac Cop. So 1988's Maniac Cop is a movie that I've been aware of, have quite honestly owned for a very long time. The Synapse release right here, which I'll talk more about, and just never put it in. I'll see posts about this movie. It's talked in circles. It clearly has a cult following, so I finally decided, Christian, you own it. Just go ahead and put it in. So Maniac Cop tells the story of a trigger-happy cop that was put in jail and found guilty by the city and the crimes that they think he committed. But they kind of portray him as he was just a really tough cop that protected people. It's kind of subtext, but that's that's the that's the notion you get about the Maniac Cop himself. When he goes to prison, he is then tortured by all the inmates because he is a cop. And basically dies. So when a murderer is on the loose, people are trying to figure out what's going on, but they keep getting reports that it's this maniac cop on the streets that's doing all this killing. So we get behind the eyes of two main characters, played by Tom Atkins and Bruce Campbell. That's right, two amazing cult horror film actors, with, with Tom Atkins being just so uh, loving on screen. Everybody loves seeing Tom Atkins in a movie because, number one, he's such a good natural actor. He always has great characters in those movies. So we kind of get a little bit more behind Tom Atkins' character at first where he's trying to figure out what's going on and he doesn't know what to believe. When Bruce Campbell's character is framed for these murders, they then have to figure out, did he do this or is this somebody else committing these crimes? When Tom Atkins learns about the legend of this maniac cop and actually sees this guy in a back alley, he realizes, oh my god, there is truly this bizarre Maniac Cop out on the loose. So Maniac Cop is portrayed by Robert Zadar, which you'll, you may know him from some, some other films. I knew him from Tango and Cash. He's driving the 18-wheeler in the beginning, and, and, and Sylvester Stallone pops him with a little revolver. They fly out the truck. The big chin guy. Once you see Robert, you don't unsee him. Now, Robert is extremely foreboding in this movie. He is clearly a big, monstrous guy with the chin of all chins. Nobody has a bigger or better chin than <laughs> Robert Zdar, for God's sake. We get to a major climax with a great fight, and I'll leave the rest spoiler-free. That is the story of the Maniac Cop. So what do I think about this movie? Qu quite honestly, this is a darling of a film to me. This was one of the most enjoyable cult hits I've ever watched, and it's a shame because I did some research, this movie bombed at the box office, but developed, I'm assuming, a monstrous cult following that a sequel was in fact made. I think this movie probably destroyed at the home videos and the rental stores, and people just ate up Maniac Cop, and for good reason, because I'm going to tell you guys, it is an extremely well-made film for a low-budget type of film. It's got great characters, a great story, and... Tom freaking Atkins. One thing notable about this is the villain of Robert Starr as the maniac cop. There's such a believability in him in this movie because of how monstrous of a guy he seems in this. Granted, Tom Atkins and Bruce Campbell are not exactly, you know, professional wrestlers, but Robert Starr's size and the forebodingness of his character, they never just try to show his face straight on throughout the movie. He's very much a, a mystery and it works. I mean, he's so scary in this movie and so monstrous. This movie has this really strange essence to me of RoboCop. And, you know, I see RoboCop as a horrific action movie, but in Maniac Cop is an action-packed horror movie. What I mean by that is this is much more emphasis on horror, but has a lot of great action-packed scenes where RoboCop was a really big action movie sprinkled in with some really creepy and bloody horrific stuff. So they're they're kind of the same tonality wise, but they're on the different spectrums, one being action and this one being horror. You gotta watch this to really understand what I'm saying, because it's not obviously the same type of movie with, with this being more of a horror movie more than anything. But there are some action-packed scenes in here that really are cool. This is a fantastic little movie, guys. I enjoyed it so much. 10 out of 10 for me. So incredibly enjoyable. Rewatch value is through the roof on this. So let's talk about this Blu-ray for just a second. So if I have intrigued you to check this movie out, this is the Synapse, or Synapse, however you pronounce it, Blu-ray release. It's been out for a long time. I believe it's still available. You get on Amazon. This is the, the way to watch this. For all my UK people that watch this, I'm pretty sure Arrow Video put this out uh, among the sequels, which we're going to talk about because I finished the entire trilogy. We're talking about all these movies on, on Christian Hannah Horror. So this synapse release is great. The presentation's great. The audio is is stellar. You know, I have a sound bar that I, I listen to my movies through, and I was extremely entertained by the soundtrack of this. The, the audio quality was fantastic. The picture quality is really good. 
And this is the way to watch this movie if you're in the States or if you just want this release more than anything. This is the Synapse release. Uh, special features include a small interview with Robert Zdar, uh, an interview with Tom Atkins, and an interview with Danny Hicks, a little featurette. So not, an, not a packed house full of special features, but enough to justify this Blu-ray. The price is reasonable on Amazon. Uh, it, it's a great release, guys. So this is a Synapse release, but I said if you're a UK people, I think Arrow Video put out Maniac Cop. So 10 out of 10 for me. We're going to be talking about parts 2 and 3, which are also... We'll get there. So that's Maniac Cop, guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, please let me know if you've seen Maniac Cop. Uh, let me know if you're going to get this movie from from this point now. And uh, tell me tell me your experiences with this movie because it is fantastic. And you're going to find out my thoughts on 2 and 3 before too long. So this is Christian Hennehor. Thank you guys for watching. And this is Maniac Cop. <laughs>